Do we have certified cartolists? Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashtaya Bhutale Srimate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Iti Namine Namaste Saraswate Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Pashatadesha Tadine Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Radha Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Radha Shri Vasari Gaur Bhakta Brinda Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Radha Shri Vasari Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare 
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, 
हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे गोविंद जय जय गोपाल जय जय गोविंद जय जय गोपाल जय जय राधा रमन हरि गोविंद जय जय राधा रमन हरि गोविंद जय जय गोविंद जय जय गोपाल जय जय गोविंद जय जय गोपाल जय जय राधा रमन हरि गोविंद जय जय राधा रमन हरि गोविंद जय जय हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Nitai Gaur Hari Bol Hari Bol Hari Bol Tai Gaur Hari Bol Nitai Gaur Hari Bol Hari Bol Hari Bol Tai Gaur Hari Bol Jaya Jaya Prabhu Pad Prabhu Pad Prabhu Pad Jaya Jaya Prabhu Pad Gaur Premanande Shri Hari Nam Sankirtan Ki Shri Hari Nam Mantra Ki Shri Hari Nam Prabhu Ki Go Premanande Nitai Gaura Hari Bol Hari Bol Hari Bol Nitai Gaura Hari Bol I'd like to welcome Kanka Devi Dasi. Hare Krishna. Thank you for visiting us here at ISV. Well, I mean, you're not really a visitor. This is your home. But um, we've been missing you. I've been missing you. I haven't seen you forever. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel really grateful that I got to come. Today. Thanks for coming. I didn't know you were I didn't either. One never knows. Krishna willing. And um, first I'd like to offer my obeisances to his divine grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, uh, by his spiritual enthusiasm and uh, complete adherence to the order of his spiritual master has saved me and is going on in that process. And... Um, by whose uh, power the Krishna consciousness movement is spreading all over the world. It takes an, an incredible amount of power to keep oneself in Krishna consciousness, to control the senses and the raging mind and such, what to speak of influencing others. Of course, if one takes care of one's own 
practice very carefully, then there's a natural effect that extends to others. As St. Francis used to tell his disciples, you can preach all day long, and sometimes you should even say something. And the, the way we uh, go about our life <clears throat> actually has the most effect on people. And the way we create our atmosphere or our environment around us has a huge impact on people. We were at a program last night, really nice program, and um, someone came up to me and was telling me that um, <clears throat> they were fairly new to Krishna consciousness and they had been coming to the program that's held at Govinda Charan Prabhu's house. What's that called? See. D Y A D Y D Y S Discover Yourself. It's an introductory course for Krishna consciousness ongoing. Quite a few people there, and someone was telling me that they they weren't so much uh, convinced by the philosophy of Krishna consciousness, but when they got around all the devotees and they felt the atmosphere, something in their heart changed, and they felt that they were in the right place. And then this philosophy began to make more sense to them, and then they became convinced, and so on. And so the environment we create uh, has an effect on everyone, all kinds of living beings. When uh, Narada Muni was traveling, and he's always traveling because he was cursed that he can't stay in any one place, which is good for all of us, <laughs> because he travels everywhere and he spreads his influence, he happened to be in a forest one day and he saw a deer writhing in pain on the path. And it was shot with an arrow, and it was half killed. And then he saw a boar, and then he saw a rabbit, all in the same condition, artfully half killed and writhing in pain. And then tracing out where this misery was being perpetrated, he f saw a hunter off in the forest behind a tree. So he went to speak to that hunter, and as he did many of the animals that were in the forest were scared away by the commotion. And the hunter said, what did you do? Uh, you just scared everything, all, all my prey away from here. And Narda said, I came to ask you something. Is that you who's killed these animals halfway and left them in the path? And he said, oh, yes. And he then recognized that Narda was a, a sadhu, a holy person. So he said, uh, can I offer you something? Maybe some skins, or rabbit skins, or something, bear skin or something. And he said, no. Narda said, I've come here to ask you something else. I don't need any skins. But I've asked you to, I've come here to ask you to not half kill these animals. He said, you're a hunter, so killing animals, it's it's not that bad a thing, but half killing them specifically so they'll suffer. This is uh, going to cause you a lot of suffering in the future. And it was by the influence of Narada that this hunter, Murgrari, began to appreciate that this was true. He felt the association very deeply of Narada Muni. And he asked him, what should I do then? And Narada told him that actually because you're killing in this life and the next life, you're going to have to suffer. All these animals will uh, perpetrate the same kind of suffering on you. And uh, he said, I'll give you instructions how to become free from this lifestyle. But first you have to trust me enough to break your bow. And the hunter said, but if I break my bow, how will I make my livelihood? This is my whole life. It would be similar to Silicon Valley asking someone to throw their laptop in the in the bay. <laughs> throw your iPhone into the into the bay. Uh, and he said, uh, Narda said, "Don't worry. You leave your livelihood to me. I'll make sure that you have everything you need." So Magari trusted him, and he broke his bow. And then. Narada instructed him to sit down in front of Tulsi and to chant the Mahamantra, 
he and his wife and to concentrate on chanting the holy names of the Lord and that that uh, everything would come from that. And so that's what the hunter did. And the townspeople, when they heard that this hunter had been transformed into a devotee, they were amazed at what had happened. And they came from all over the place to bring uh, food, all kinds of grains and vegetables and everything like that. And when Narada came back to visit his disciple and said, how are you doing? He said, well, people are bringing too much. We can't handle this. Please, uh, everyone should stop bringing so much because we, we can't deal with all this. And when Narada came back to visit him sometime later with um, another sannyasi, Magari came to greet his spiritual master and he was running down the pathway, but he was jumping from side to side. And when he approached, Narada Muni asked him, so it's good to see you, come to greet us, but why are you walking in such a funny way? And Bhargari said, well, there are these ants on the ground, and I didn't want to step on any of them as I was walking. I was uh, very much aware of that. And from being a person... Uh, addicted to half-killing animals, to uh, one who was afraid to step on an ant. Uh, this was a great transformation. And it had come about by the association of Narada Muni. And the Srimad Bhagavatam Shukadev Goswami says, Kirata hunandra pulinda pulkasha abhira shumba yavana kasadaya yene japapa yadapashraya shaya shudyanti tasmai pravavishnave namaha No matter what uh, position of life you're in. If you take shelter of the devotee of the Lord, you can become purified because of the power of Vishnu that comes through the devotees. So we recognize Srila Prabhupada as such a great devotee. He had that um, power to give others Krishna consciousness and to transform them from whatever situation of life they were in to devotees who were dedicated to chanting Hare Krishna. And from that process, all good qualities come out. And Krishna consciousness begins every day with uh, rededicating ourselves to remembering Krishna. In the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, Manmana bhavamad bhakto madhyajimam namaskuru mami vaishyasti yuktvayavam atmana matparayanaha. That just think of me. This is such a powerful thing to do because our consciousness has to go somewhere. It's always engaged. Even when we close our eyes and go to sleep at night, it will wander about in dreamland from one object to the next. And when we open our eyes in the morning, we notice that there are things about us. We, have oblig we remember our obligations when we wake up from the dream. And we begin from there. And even at the time when the universe is completely destroyed, at intervals, all the conditioned souls who live in this material world get wound up in the body of Mahavishnu and held there for billions of years before they're re-released out into the uh, material world again. But when they are, they again awaken when the creation takes place. And Shir Dakshai Vishnu, who's the super soul within everyone's heart, reminds them where they left off. And again, they become active. So we're always active, and in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, Nahi kashit shanamapi jatu tishchat karma krit, karyate hyavasha karmas, sarva prakriti jayargunai. That no one can refrain from doing something, not even for a moment, because of the force of these modes of material nature. And Prabhupada mentions in his commentary that it's not just uh, the modes of nature, but uh, it's also the fact that the soul is active. Um, we're conscious beings. We're not dead stones. We have free will, 
and we want to execute that free will. But we're tatasta, we're marginal energy of the Lord, and we're very tiny. And because of that, we are influenced by our environment. And part of the environment we live in now is our body and mind. We're surrounded by a body and mind. And Krishna consciousness means we have to very deliberately fix our minds on Krishna. And when we do that, the, our problems are solved because the main problem that I have is forgetting Krishna. When I remember Krishna, there's no problem. And therefore, in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna uh, says many things about remembering him, thinking of him. For instance, ananyas chintayanto mam yejana paryupasate tesham nityabdhyuktanam yogakshemam baham yaham and this word ananya means without any distraction or deviation to anything else. Chintayanto, the chinta means the, the consciousness, our mind, our intelligence, um, our awareness. Ananyas chintayanto mam. This word ananya is very uh, relishable. It means without any deviation. And then mam. Mom means me. So this, ha this gives a point for us to remember because the mind wants to go somewhere. It has to think of something. And everyone wants our attention. For instance, if you drive down the road, you'll notice that there are billboards everywhere and everyone wants you to look over there and get some idea about something to do. Did you see any billboards on the way here? You didn't see anything? You see anything pop up on your computer and try to catch your attention? Um, at every moment, there are things in the environment. And then the mind also has its own way of jumping from one subject to the next. And we need an anchor. We need a place to go to fix the mind. And therefore, Krishna says, Ananyash chintayanto mam yejana paryupasate. If you, if you um, think of Krishna, just keep bringing your mind back to Krishna. And make your entire uh, agenda, your goal in life, to serve Krishna, to worship Krishna. Then Krishna says, I'll carry what you lack and preserve what you have. I'll take care of all your affairs. Don't worry about it. And in another verse, he says, Ananya Chaita Satatam Yomam Smariti Nityashaha Tasyaham Sulabha Parta Nitya Yuktasya Yoginaha That for one who just thinks of me, ananya cheta, again, it starts off in the same way. The other verse says, ananyash chintayanto mam, and this says, ananya cheta satatam. So ananya, the same word is there. Ananya uh, cheta satatam means always, the, your consciousness is always absorbed in me. Ananya cheta satatam, yo mam smarati nityashaha, you're always remembering me. Tasyaham sulaba parta. For that person, I'm easy to obtain. You can get me very easily by this, by thinking of me. Nitya yukta si yogina. Because the yogi, the person, the real yogi is the one who's thinking of Krishna. We know this from the sixth chapter of the Bhagavad Gita. Krishna says, Yoginam apisarvesham madgantanan taratmana, shadavan bhajate yomam same yukta tamo mataha. That one who is abiding me with great abiding, who abides in me with great faith, always thinking of me. This is the highest kind of yogi. And um, so this is the uh, the beginning of our day. When we wake up in the morning, we have to have a way to bring our mind to Krishna. So therefore, we have uh, in yoga. The, the practice is to have a morning program. Sometimes we call the morning program. The word program is interesting, especially in Silicon Valley. There are a lot of software programs. And we have to have a morning program. A morning program means that you have a way to bring your mind back to Krishna when you wake up in the morning. This is a very practical thing. This is the way to start your day. Start your day by... Uh, having a plan, a program. See, if you don't have any program when you wake up in the morning, then what will happen is your mind will invent one for you. 
and it, it's pretty random. The mind will, will say, you know, do this, why don't you do that? And if you simply go with that program, you can end up in, you know, Tijuana by the, by the afternoon if you just followed whatever it said, unless you have your own program. And um, the best program in the morning, first of all, there, there are ways in, to wake up. One of the ways to wake up is with, with a prayer on your lips. So as soon as you realize that you're coming back to your con- the consciousness of uh, being in a body, because when you're dreaming, you sort of float outside the body, right? And when you come back into the, into the a conscious awareness that I, I'm lying on, a, on the bed or the floor, wherever you sleep, and then you, um, you, you should, the first thing you should say is Krishna. Krishna, Krishna. Krishna, Krishna. Yeah, a little louder, huh? And when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had converted Sarvabhauma Bhattacharya into a Vaishnav, previously he was a Mayavadi, the next day when he came to visit him, he came early in the morning bringing Mahaprasadam from the Jagannath Temple. And he heard Sarvabhauma Bhattacharya waking up. And just as he was waking up, he said, Krishna, Krishna. And, Ma- <laughs> and Mahaprabhu felt very happy. He said, he's waking up thinking Krishna, saying Krishna. And now there are prayers you can say before you uh, put your foot on the ground. Uh, one of the prayers uh, says, O oh Mother Bhumi, please forgive me for stepping on your surface. And then it's always a good idea to start with uh, a mantra. You know, as soon as you uh, get all your faculties and you can stand up, there are prayers from the Bhagavatam that you can recite. One of the traditional ones talks about Krishna. It's a long prayer. Jayati jana nivaso devaki janmavaro yaruvari parishat swar dobirasyana dharmam stira charavijinana susmita shri mukena vajapura varitanam varayam kama devam. And it talks about uh, let um, Krishna is always victorious. Let there be great victory for Krishna. Jayati Jananivaso, he's the one, Jananivas, he moves about amongst the, the, uh, his family members, his so-called family members, Devaki and Vasudev and Nanda and Yashoda. Actually, he's transcendental. He's, he doesn't have a mother and father, but he, out of affection, he accepts these mothers and fathers. So he's called Jananivas. He moves about the, uh, the world and the people. Jananivaso, Devaki Janmavas. Um, and that uh, let him destroy all the obstacles with his powerful arms. Uh, Krishna can remove all the obstacles on our path uh, by, his, uh, by his power. We just have to take shelter of him. And um, he's always enlivening the residents of Vrindavan with his beautiful smile, especially the gopis of Vrindavan. They're always enchanted by his smiling face. And there are other prayers too, but if you start your day like this, you begin by waking up and you have a program, how you step out of the bed and how you offer a prayer. You remember your spiritual master, you remember Krishna, you say some mantra, and then immediately uh, get the vibration going. If you're in, if you're in a room, you can uh, have your um, digital device ready to go. It's a good idea. Wherever it is, take after you say your prayer, immediately push the button and the lecture should start or the bhajan should start and that's how you should start your day. So the vibration then fills the room. Don't give a gap. Then, of course, there's ways to, uh, to, to purify the body with water, uh, brushing the teeth. Um, uh, a good uh, Ayurvedic thing to do is to drink water in the morning, especially if you keep it in a copper pot. You take a, you can get a copper pot in uh, Lowy Bazaar or anywhere else. Nice little copper pot, but it's Ayurvedic that if you keep water overnight in a copper pot, and then uh, when you wake up in the morning, you drink that water. It helps purify you internally. And even in uh, Western medicine, they talk about how people have to drink enough water. You have to stay hydrated. One of the causes of of chronic disease in the world. Uh, is caused by uh, dehydration. They call it chronic dehydration because you need about eight glasses of uh, clean water every day, at least. 
Conky, you back me up on this? She's a nurse. Okay, so uh, <laughs> at least eight eight glasses of of uh, clean water every every day. That's a minimum. And uh, juices and sodas they don't suffice because they get the pan the pancreas gets involved because there's sugar to to metabolize and so on, and therefore um, you don't you don't get the purifying effect of water. You have to drink enough water. And in fact, over many years, if you keep depriving yourself of water, then what happens is uh, the cells in your body start shrinking. And uh, for instance, your lower lumbar system in your back, it's a hydraulic system. It's, it's mostly made of water. And a lot of back problems come from that. Um, the organs shrink because you, you need a certain amount of water in your system. So wake up in the morning, say your prayer, Turn on the vibration and drink some water out of a copper pot. It's nice. It shouldn't be freezing cold either. Better if it's a little warm. Room temperature, and if it's a freezing cold warm room, should be warm water, according to the Ayurveda. Because the internal organs get shocked when you drink that cold water in the morning. Then um, taking bath. Um, I mean, there's different kinds of bath. There's, if it's raining with the sun out, that's a kind of purifying bath. There's bath by mantra and by water also. There's, there's actually, you know, a um, Vedic way to take bath, the, the whole system. But you should purify yourself with water in the morning and then um, sit down to purify yourself with the holy name. So chanting the holy name in the morning is very important. You set aside everything else. Don't be distracted. And if you can create a, a sacred environment... Turn off things, just like when you get in the airplane, they say anything with the on and off switch, you turn it off. <laughs> that helps because then you know nothing's going to come at you. You don't even realize how many things are vying for your attention until you turn them off. Then you feel some relief. And also, uh, another um, technique is to clear your room. Wherever you are, wherever you're going to chant, uh, make sure that things are not cluttered because clutter distracts your mind. Uh, you'll notice uh, if you tidy up your room at night before you go to sleep, you put away everything in its place. A place for everything and everything in its place. And make sure it's all put away. And then when you wake up, there's not papers because they'll attract your attention. They'll, oh, I should have paid that bill. Uh, I should have... Uh, oh, there's there's the car keys over there. Whatever it is, make sure it's neat and tidy before you go to sleep. Because when you wake up and your environment is pristine, it doesn't have any distraction or what's called visual noise, then uh, you have a better chance at actually sitting down and concentrating on one thing. And that's all you have to do. You have to give yourself permission to not think of anything else except for the holy name. Now, this is the great technique given to us by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, passed down to us by Srila Prabhupada. He taught us to concentrate on hearing the whole the na- the, the the sound of the holy name. Sound of the holy name. If you concentrate on the sound and keep bringing your mind back to the sound of the holy name, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare then you're um, thinking of Krishna. By thinking of the holy name and concentrating on hearing the holy name, you're thinking of Krishna. And by association with that vibration, which is the same as Krishna, you'll feel inspiration. You'll also get knowledge. And you'll feel detachment from things that aren't related to Krishna. This is a great trick. This is real yoga. Vasudeva Bhagavati Bhakti Yoga Prayojita. By serving Krishna, uh, automatically come knowledge and detachment from the world. And you need these. You have to have knowledge and detachment to fortify yourself in the process of devotional service. If you don't have that sense of detachment from the world, you'll get entangled. And if you don't have knowledge, then you won't know what to do. And so these two things, these concomitant um Stabilizing elements are very important in devotional service. Touch chadadhana munayo, jnana vairagya yuktaya, pashantyatmani chatmanam, bhaktya shuta grihitaya. The, 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 the devotee should be 
fortified with knowledge and detachment. Where are you going to get that? You can't get it anywhere else except for the holy name. You really do have to take daily shelter. Every morning you have to do this. You have to have a morning program. And if you concentrate, then naturally, without any extraneous endeavor, without trying to be detached from the world, without trying to get knowledge, which is a, a vision that I'm different from the body. This is the beginning point of knowledge. Shetragnam chapimam vidhi sarva shetri shubharata. Shetra shetragnaya jnanam yatach jnanam matambama. Krishna says, this is knowledge when you see that I'm in a body and I'm the knower of the body or the field, but I'm different from it. And then, as you chant, you'll also get a sense for the super-knower who is beyond. He's the um, infallible, and he's the source of my life. He's the soul of my soul. When I start to feel the presence of the uh, great benefactor, my best friend, the sukrit means very, very good. It's the only thing that's very, very good. It's Krishna. And he's there. He's right there in the heart. He's actually uh, with us all the time. But I've forgotten him. I'm distracted outwardly. I'm looking towards uh, progress in the material world and, and uh, constantly barraged by all kinds of other s- stimuli. But if I purposefully take my attention inward and I hear the holy name, then uh, by that endeavor, that, that conscious choice to do this and not anything else, this is a kind of uh, connection to Krishna. The Krishna notices he, this person is putting his attention on me and then Krishna reciprocates from within the heart. And feeling that reciprocation is the impetus that, uh, wants, that, that uh, gives us the hunger to, to know more and to, to, continue, to continue the process of devotional service, to make more advancement. And so uh, we may live in an apartment or a house or that pretty much covers it. Um, wherever you happen to live, you have to make an arrangement to do this kind of yoga every day. Have your morning program. Now, if you can do 16 rounds of this kind of japa meditation, it will take you anywhere from um, an hour and 20 minutes up to two hours and, and a half, depending on on how deliberately, how slowly you chant. But the main point is, uh, if you can do it uh, continuously without stopping, if you can do 16 rounds in a row, you can get a special benefit from the chanting because uh, over a long period of time without breaking the meditation, uh, you get um, special insight and reciprocation from the holy name. Also, if you can uh, put Tulsi Devi, if you grow Tulsi at home, this is another thing recommended for anybody who lives anywhere. Uh, Grow Tulsi. And when you chant, uh, sit in front of Tulsi Devi because Tulsi Devi is uh, a great benefactor of the devotees and has a great spiritual power. So if you sit in front of Tulsi Devi and chant, then you'll also get impetus and and power to be able to... um, Think of Krishna and hear the holy names. Then uh, 16 rounds in a row, a minimum, if you have a goal. And if you can't do that, then pick a number that you can maintain every day, even if it's only one round or even if it's only one bead. Pick something that you don't go below. This is uh, an important thing to do to um, make a vow that I don't do less than this, no matter what. And you'd be surprised just by taking that kind of vow, even if it seems small at first, you'll get um, impetus to do more by maintaining it. Then, uh, after you finish your rounds, your your chanting, your japa, whatever you can do, then um, it's very helpful to uh, then move your attention to the scripture. Uh, We have Bhagavad Gita, we have Srimad Bhagavatam, what else do you have? Chaitanya Charitamrita, Nectar Devotion, Chaitanya Bhagavat, Brihat Bhagavatamrita. That I, I dare say that even if you tried to make uh, a career out of reading all these books, you know, it, it takes, yeah, um, there's a lot there. And you can go over and over it again. 
So don't be intimidated that there's too much because this is also something that can happen. You'll look up and you say, well, there's so many books and there's the Srimad Bhagavatam and how could I possibly read it all so I won't read any of it? Don't think like that. Just think that I want the exposure. I need the exposure. If you just have the association of the books every day, just associate your mind, your, uh, uh, your, just associate yourself with the book. So after you finish chanting, if you can pick up uh, a book and read somewhere uh, quietly and just concentrate. Don't let anything distract you. Just read the verses and the purports. You can read out loud or you can just read them to yourself. But it will purify the intelligence and it will give you faith and reorient you to the, to the reality. Um, these, uh, these two uh, programs are very important for starting the day. And then um, you have your breakfast. Good, good to have some exercise in the morning if you can. If you do yoga, you know, uh, do your. Uh, important to keep the body uh, fit uh, to do your uh, to to do your lifelong practice of devotional service. This is mentioned in Shastra that to kamasya nendriya pritir labo jive te yavata jivasya tattva jignasya narto yascheha karma bihi that um, you should live a life of self-preservation so that you can hear and chant. That's what the verse says. So you have to preserve your body a little bit. Uh, you don't have to be a fanatic, but you should preserve your body a little bit. Take some kind of exercise, uh, like walking is a good exercise. If you can get out for a, a, a really uh, good walk for at least 20 minutes to half an hour a day, that's a minimum, a minimum thing. This uh, promotes uh, good... Um, circulatory health and uh, respiratory health and you know you have to walk walking's good and if you have some other kind of exercise just do it add it into your program it's a balance you have your meditation and you drink your water and then you have your exercise stay healthy so you can do service otherwise if you get um, if you get out of balance you eat too much um, too many foods that are like too much sugar, too much fat, things like that, you'll develop diseases, actually, over time. There's diabetes. There's, um, there's all kinds of um, problems that come from uh, being overweight and such. Conquer, what are some of them? Um, it can really kill your knees. Bad for the knees? Yeah, or your hips. Lose a few pounds and you'll notice you're more flexible. You don't have to sleep as much, things um, like that. Yeah. yeah. Knee replacement is really a big surgery. And hip replacement is a big surgery. And it's mainly due to overweight. And also um, depression. Because if you're overweight, then you feel depressed. Um, there's so many things that come from it. Diabetes is probably number one. Um, there's not a, a lot of diseases that come from eating less, but there's <laughs> from, from eating more. So um, if you eat really uh, healthy foods, you don't have to eat as much. Like if you eat whole grains and things that, are, that um, are not processed, this helps in your overall health because um, it, it, it ha the body has to process it first. Like sugar is, is a processed food. If you just take a lot of sugar... It enters into the bloodstream, you get a quick rush, and then you come crashing back down again. And it's very difficult, it's hard on the system. So Krishna says in the Gita, Yukta hara viharasya, yukta chastasya karmasu, yukta swapdava bodasya, yoga bhavati dukaha. Be regulated in all your habits, how you eat, how you sleep, how you exercise, and all these kinds of things. And actually, if you have this kind of regulated life, he says, it, it will uh, do away with your miseries can be very balanced. You notice the life of Srila Prabhupada, how he, he lived a balanced life. He did things in a regulated way. He went for his walk every day. Didn't miss his walk. He also was very careful what time he took prasadam, and then it was hot, and it was certain kind of, you know, spicing and things like that. Um, he took massage, because he said that's yoga for old people because it keeps circulation going, a little flexibility, things like that. You have to invest in these things. You can't just, uh, 
work, 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 or throw them out the window or think I'll just hear and chant until I drop dead or something like that. But you have to have a regulated life. This is part of uh, the yoga cycle. A little exercise, you know, make sure you're doing healthy things for your body because the formula for, for success is a few good habits repeated every day. That's all you have to do. Develop a few really good habits and repeat. That's what a habit is. You repeat it every day. But the this formula for disaster is you develop a few bad habits and you repeat those every day. Like Jim Rohn used to point out that if, if you eat an apple a day, what will happen? The Keeps the doctor away. But if you change that and you say, I'll eat a Hershey bar a day, <laughs> what will happen if you eat a Hershey bar a day? Eventually, you know, you're, you're not going to feel well. You'll be overweight. You'll have diabetes and all kinds of things. And all it takes is a little mistake every single day in your, in your program. So you have to have the right program. Figure out the right program. And, and Krishna consciousness is a balanced lifestyle. It's holistic. Uh, you have to have enough sleep. There are a lot of diseases caused by not having enough sleep. If you try to cut way back, uh, one of the th- problems you'll have is you'll smash into a telephone pole <laughs> when you're driving. <laughs> Because you have to be awake when you're driving. And we drive a lot in this society. So you've got to make sure you're awake. Your brain doesn't function all the way when, you're, when you don't have enough sleep. You have to have enough sleep, but not too much. If you dream too much, if you go to sleep and you take long, you know, more than you, than you actually need, then you'll also um, be out of balance. And, and you'll, you'll develop all kinds of um, deficiencies because of that also. You have to sleep just enough. So this is a machine. The body is a sophisticated machine. You have to figure out how to run it. And if you were raising a, a, a $10 million racehorse, you wouldn't feed it Cracker Jacks or something like that. You, you give it the best kind of food. So how valuable is the body that you have, the human body? Labam sudur labamidam bahusam bhavante Bhagavatam says it's the most valuable of all valuable assets because it, it's a... It's, uh, Rarely achieved, and it can take you across this material ocean. It's very valuable. You have to take care of it. So then uh, some exercise. Make sure you drink enough water. Uh, and he, you have to have your program of hearing and chanting. A full dedication every morning to hearing the holy name and fully concentrating and then reading some Shastra. That'll help in, in the overall picture of life because all kinds of things will come at you the rest of the day. You can't predict what's going to happen to you the rest of the day. But if you have your morning program, you're going to be smarter than the average bear and you'll be able to jump higher and run faster than everybody else uh, because you have your spiritual foundation. So you have to get that foundation. Morning program. What do you think? Yeah. And then uh, be kind to people that you live with. You have to learn to... uh, Speak nicely to people. This is an austerity of speech. When you live with other people, uh, there, there are consequences for how you treat them. Do I have to say that? <laughs> Everyone knows. So you have to learn nonviolent communication. You have to learn to communicate to other people in such a way that you don't offend them. And be careful. When you have some kind of uh, envy in your heart or you're angry and you speak to somebody, it, it'll come out in your voice. And, and, in, and what you say to them. And there'll be repercussions. Sometimes irreparable harm is done. So one of the uh, practices of yoga Krishna gives in the Bhagavad Gita is to be, just carefully control your speech. This, uh, among all other practices, is one of the most effective because the tongue is the rudder that drives us here and there, like the rudder on the boat. It even looks like a rudder. And so uh, if you... If carefully control your speech, how you speak to other people, then uh, you'll notice that your environment changes. You'll notice that people treat you differently because uh, you should speak truthfully. That's one thing. Lies always come back to bite you, don't they? You tell a lie and then all you have to, the rest of your life you have to make up for it. And then your mind also uses up a lot of extra energy trying to figure out like, how to cover for that. And lying comes in all different forms like half-truth or <laughs> not revealing the whole situation or embellishment, telling a little more than it was and so on. Um, if you practice being truthful, then uh, just say it the way it really is, then 
you you can um, avoid so many other uh, so much mental consternation. And speaking beneficially, if it's not beneficial, either materially or spiritually, then don't say it. This I heard Prabhupada say recently. He said, if it doesn't benefit somebody materially or spiritually, in other words, if you're working on a project and it's related to the project to develop it and, and you have to say it, then say it. And, you know, that's okay. That's your duty. And if, and if it's a, it's a, you're, you're speaking in order to help somebody spiritually or to talk about Krishna, say it. But other kinds of speech, you can trim it down. That's, so that's, this is an area that you can trim down and it will change your life. It's like trimming the sail. When you trim the sail, you can go faster. You can go the direction you want. Be careful what you say. And that's something you have control over. And if you don't, then that's a place to work on that will affect your spiritual life in, in very uh, profound ways by controlling the speech. And so um, the other thing is when you live among pe- other, other people, if you have a spouse or roommates or um, if, you know, fellow workers and things like that, um, you should um, be thoughtful because the more you're thoughtful towards other people, you go out of your way to be thoughtful, the more you'll uh, uh, develop uh, alliances and friendships and so on. You can always use friends in this world and enemies are a hassle, difficult to deal with. Of course, friends and enemies will automatically be there, but... um, Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, one who's a kind friend to all living entities is very dear to me. You should be a kind friend. Um, anyway, there's a lot to say about how to interact with, with people in the world. There are different ways uh, to do that, but these are kind of general instructions. But if, if we have this kind of program each day, this is um, a yogic lifestyle. It's how we interact with people in the world. And uh, that will, um, our thoughtfulness in doing that will have a direct effect on our consciousness and our ability to actually be able to sit and chant and so on. And when we take time every day to do our spiritual program without any kind of distraction, we'll develop spiritual self esteem. Spiritual self esteem. The more spiritual self esteem we have means that you know how much time you took to actually concentrate on your practice. You know yourself. Maybe nobody else knows, but you know. And when you know that you took the trouble to control your mind and senses and do your program the right way, then you become, uh, you feel that uh, in the the rest of your day, you feel, I have, I have the volition to do other things, other important things. And also you, you have the, um, you're then empowered to be able to speak about uh, controlling your senses and to, to speak about having a program. If you don't have a program, there's not much you can say about it. But if you actually do it, you'll get realization, and there's a lot you can tell other people about how it works and, and so on. But you have to have spiritual self-esteem from doing it yourself. And then, of course, uh, we have our livelihood. We have the work we have to do. So uh, we go out into the world and work in different ways, And when we're spiritually fortified, we'll have a positive effect on the people we work with in the world. And also, we won't be affected by the uh, different kinds of association we have to take in during the day as we're doing our work. Everyone has to have some profession to live. And you'll be be insulated, and you'll actually be um, more aware of people's needs, interests, and concerns because uh, you're becoming spiritually enlightened and you're appreciating that they're actually living entities. And in the Sri Shapanishad, um, it is said, um, Yes, to Sarvani Bhutan, Bhutani Atman, Evanu Pashati, Sarva Bhuteshu Chatmanam, Tatunavijugupsite, Yasmin Sarvani Bhutani Atma Evad Budvijanataha, Tatrako Mahakashoka, Ekat Vamanu Pashataha. Uh, one who sees everything in relation to the Supreme Lord and sees the Supreme Lord within everything never hates anything or any being. One who, we, one who always sees all living entities as spiritual sparks in quality one with the Lord becomes a true knower of things. What then can be illusion or anxiety for him? These two verses talk about how uh, when we're 
when we're spiritually fortified, when we're actually seeing everything in relationship to Krishna, we're not in anxiety, and we don't hate or desire certain things. We're detached. We see it in relation to Krishna. We see how the world's working in a uniform way. We don't become the victim when something happens to us. We don't uh, try to um, retaliate with uh, against the uh, the agents of our karma and so on. And uh, we live a more balanced life. So even if you have a profession, you're a student or you're a, a business person or a nurse, when, you, when you're fortified spiritually, you're actually uh, capable of relating to people in a much higher level. And even in normal circumstances, when there are uh, disputes and there may be sort of mundane, uh, difficult things to deal with, you can deal with them. You can deal with them in, in a responsible way. Bhaktivinoda Thakur was, was known to be the uh, most efficient of the judges in all the circuits. And everyone wanted him. That's why he transferred so many places. Everyone wanted him to be on their circuit because he solved uh, way more cases than in, uh, anybody else. And they, his didn't get reversed. He did them quickly. And, and what did he do the rest of the day? His program, he'd go home in the evening, have a little supper, go to bed, wake up uh, you know, around midnight or so and start writing and chanting. And all night long, he would be absorbed. Then he'd go off and do his work. So you don't have to give up your work. You can't give up your work. But you have to have your spiritual program to become fortified so that when you do go out in the world, you'll, you'll be able to deal with everything in, in a transcendental way. And you can do that uh, not just by being clever, but by being spiritual. You don't have to be clever. You just have to be spiritual. And, and if you take shelter of Krishna's names and you have a, a, a morning program wherever you live that's a set program for, for f uh, not leaving any gaps. This is, a, this is like a game, you know. Uh, you figure out where the gaps are in your life and you close them up any gaps that are uh, not beneficial to your forward progress in your spiritual life, you, that you can close those gaps. Isn't that a fun game? <laughs> Isn't it? I mean, look for the because they're not of any use anyway. Usually they're anxiety-producing. They don't actually give you any benefit. But when you, when you do have a balanced spiritual program that deals with body, mind, words, speech, and, and it's a holistic approach, you become a jolly person. Brahma Bhuta Prasanatma. This is the first Prasanatma. The, the soul becomes happy, joyful. N no more misery, because it has it, it's it's in the soul's in touch with the divine, and um, so this is the a great um, challenge of of life. And then of course there's the evening program. If you can have an evening program, uh, when you come home at night after your work, then you um, you can also read Shastra. If you're with a family, uh, good to have uh, a group um, session where you can sit together. That's always nice because then you're all you're on the same page, literally. You can read the same book and mark it up, and 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 make some goals. Uh, part of your uh, spiritual practice, if it's goal oriented, it becomes even more powerful. Like if you're going to read a book, figure out how many pages are in the book, figure out how many months you have left. And then say, how many pages do I, do I have to read to finish it? Make a goal. The law of forced efficiency. And then uh, you'll be getting spiritually nourished every day. And if you do it regularly, steadily, then it'll have a, a great effect. So evening program is important too because the last thing you do at night uh, is what you'll uh, think about when you're dreaming. And someone told me recently, you shouldn't look at a computer screen or any kind of screen uh, at least one or two hours before you go to bed. Anybody follow that? <laughs> <laughs> but but if, you, if you integrate some of these things into your life, and uh, you'll notice a lifestyle change. These are in the category what we talked about before with voluntary lifestyle changes, VLCs, voluntary life changes. And you know, you, you make a few adjustments like this, get rid of a few screens, and some of the information that's coming in, and you'll be much better for it. Dr. Andrew Weil, who's sort of a holistic uh, practitioner, he, talks, he tells people one of the best things they can do is do a news fast. 
because uh, the news, especially nowadays, see Americans, they like to um, they like to concentrate everything. Like if it, if if a certain kind of herb is good, then what they do is they go in the laboratory and figure out how to make it ten million times stronger, and then you can take it in a pill. And they think if turmeric's good, then you could take this essence of turmeric, which is 10 million times stronger than taking a little tablespoon of turmeric, right? And that must be better. And so with news also, you don't need concentrated news in your life. Concentrated news is the news cycle that goes on. They take all the news feeds that are coming in in the world with, with all kinds of tragedies that are happening and uh, conundrums, things people are working on, and then they feed it into this, like, test tube and they essentialize it into this thing that's 10 million times stronger than the human mind or heart can actually handle. <laughs> and then they put it out on the news cycle and they put television sets in the supermarket and the airport uh, and the hospital right when you need it, you know, when you're sick. Uh, and then it's blasting out all the time and very hard to avoid. No wonder people are in anxiety. No wonder people are in anxiety. So if you can avoid taking that in, why do you have to? You don't have to. It's not required. Uh, some people think news. Well, it's news, so I have to watch the news. You don't have to. It's not required. Not only is it not required, you can't handle it. Nobody can handle the news. It's too much. The amount of news you can handle is the n amount of news that comes to your front door naturally. When Aunt Molly comes by and says, guess what? You know, the old goat just died, you know, and then you can get all upset. Uh, and cry for a little while. But that's all you can handle. The goat just died. And that's a, that's a good for a week. You don't need to hear about every single disaster in the world. So a part of spiritual practice is knowing what not to do, what not to ingest. Because whatever you take in through this sensitive human body, the body's so sensitive. The human body is tuned in a certain way. Um, ants are very sensitive. You know, they're so smart. They bump into each other. You ever watch them? They're so organized. We should be this organized. They bump into each other and they pick up the scent and they tell each other in, in a millisecond, you know, go that way. There's a grain of sugar up on the top of a skyscraper building. They'll be there in five seconds. <laughs> they figure it out. They're sensitive. Uh, deer are sensitive. They have sensitive hearing. Fish, they can smell their hometown like a million miles away and swim to it. But a human ear is the most sensitive. What we take in through the ear and mind, it has a profound effect on us, and it's a lasting effect. So st part of spiritual life is being careful about what you take in and not take in. You have to choose, and that's what a yogi is. That's what a swami is. That's what a ghost swami is, that you discriminate. Don't let certain things go into that ear and that eye because it will have an effect on your heart. It will drive you in a certain direction. And, and this is yoga. This is yoga. This is what we're here to practice. This is our mission here. So uh, we have a balanced program where you can actually live uh, a complete happy life with good relationships with your, with your spouse, with your family, with your coworkers, uh, uh, with um, all the devotees in your life. It takes some work. And the work starts with your morning program and then following some austerities and being careful to ingest some things and leave some other, other things be aside. And uh, if you have a morning and evening program especially, then um, you cover your basics every day. Don't forget your basics. Don't miss it one day. Don't skip a day. Then uh, over time, uh, you'll notice a, an upward trajectory in your life. Sometimes people say, well, I've been practicing for three years and you know, I have ups and downs. I don't feel it. Well, when you're going up to the top of the, the Mount Everest, you have to go through the foothills before you get it. Am I correct or not? Yes, yes or yes? yes? Okay. I thought there were some foothills up there. So the foothills, they go up and down. So on your way to the top of Mount Everest, uh, you're climbing an elevation, but you're going up and down at the same time. So in the beginning of practice, don't be discouraged. There are up and downs, but you're climbing as long as you keep your basics. Keep your basics in place. Anything else can happen. Don't worry about it. It's not the end of the world. And Krishna says this in various places. Apichet sudarachado bhajate mamananya bhag. Sadureva samantavya samyag vyavasitohisa. He said, even if my devotee is of loose character at some times, he shows some worldly bad habit or some really weird thing happens. Like, why? what were you thinking? 
you know? You really blew it that time. Just keep going. Chris, just keep going. And he said, you, that person that keeps going, that's a sadhu. Don't worry about it. it. You can overcome all these things by your steady application to devotional service throughout a lifetime. And it's how you end the game that counts anyway. It's not all the mistakes you make during the process of this lifetime. It's how you end the whole thing. And the, the most glorious end is if you end and you're known as the person who has uh, dedicated their life through thick and thin, even if you couldn't do it perfectly, you'll still come out on top. Even if you weren't the, the best practitioner in the world, you could be a small fry, but at least your heart was in it. That's what counts. Keep your heart in the game. And keep practicing no matter what happens. And then Krishna makes up for everything. At the time of death, he sees, you know, you gave your full effort throughout your life. You had all kinds of uh, obstacles to overcome. And some things even overcame you. But you still kept going. You'll be successful. And that's what a successful life of, of practicing Krishna consciousness is. And what's the new thing with the uh, iPad on the wall? Is that a new technology, Nilesh? We can take more donations? <laughs> Sounds good. Let's put a few of them up around. <laughs> I noticed at Banki Bihari, there's all kinds of hundis everywhere. <laughs> I look in there. There's a hundi like every five feet at Banki Bihari. Jeez. Why don't you say this in the microphone? Because there may be guests listening all over the world who want to hear this new invention here at ISV. So on behalf of Neelix. <laughs> <laughs> on behalf of uh, Neelish Prabhu and Hitender Prabhu. Uh, so this is a new uh, uh, equipment which we are trying to put together. And uh, it is a very simple app where uh, devotee... the People who are coming to our congregation, sometimes they want to know more about what is the schedule, when are the programs, how they can participate and get engaged in various services which we have. And uh, sometimes, you know, when they give the hard copy form, it uh, takes time to reach to our database. So now what we have done is it right, you know, instantly integrated with the mailing services which we have. So anyone who wants to get emails or get engaged, you just come here, you put your details and then you are on the list and you will be getting all kinds of information from us. Thank you so much. Let's hear it for the <laughs> high tech team. Okay, so um, that's the extent of my remarks for tonight uh, because we have a few other exciting elements to the program tonight. Uh, of course, we're counting down the moments now and now even maybe seconds, until we have the, the offering, not just for the last MSF, but for the entire year uh, for our uh, ISV book distribution in Sankirtan, which is the heart of the ISV mission to serve all living entities by widely spreading the holy name to others. And uh, we also have a memorial film, which um, the devotees are just in the back putting together and you'll need the space up here you need eight minutes to get ready or eight minutes to show the film and do you want to come up here and pull the screen and do the whole thing okay so we're going to have a film which is a memorial film for his grace Rasika Shekhar Prabhu and then after that we're going to stand up uh, put all the in fact uh we can do maybe do this now while they're getting ready and moving up here. We'll put all the books and uh, books book stands away. Then we'll see the movie. And just after the movie, we're going to stand up and have the offering uh, uh, to uh, Srila Prabhupada and the deities. And then we'll have an artik. Thank you very much. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Jay.
हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे
मिथाय गौरा हरि बोल हरि बो हरि बोल निताय गौरा हरि बोल ताय गौरा हरि बोल हरि बो हरि बोल निताय गौरा हरि निताय गौरा हरि बोल हरि बो हरि बोल निताय गौरा हरि बोल हरि बो हरि बोल निताय गौरा हरि गौर फिमानंदे जय जय श्री राधा मदन मन भगवान की श्रीमन महाप्रभु की श्री श्री लक्ष्मी नरसिंह देव भगवान की परिणाम संकीर्तन की गौर फिमानंदे The specific key IC goals of this NSF were to recite the entire Ramayana written by His Holiness Bhakti Vikas Swami by Lord Rama's appearance day, to distribute books at an event, to research to start a lunch program at Sanford University, to make a portal to showcase the services of IC devotees. and to register the Bhagavad Gita club at Inter. We are pleased to report that all these goals have been successfully met. Uh-huh. 
Sangana Paya Kande 
Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. Now, if we'll put all the asans away, please. And everyone, please stand up. And we're going to uh, come to the front of the room. And Neil Jariwal is going to make the offering tonight. She has personally written... Nisha just wanted to stand with them. Wait a minute until they come. Yeah, no worries. Everyone, please come forward as much as possible. You'll have to turn this way because we're going to make a little space between opening here. Yes, yeah, stand right here. Everyone, please come forward. Move up a little bit. And no talking or crying. On behalf of Team ISV, we hereby make this offering of the results from the monthly Sankirtan Festival of Krishna's Most Dear Servant that took off in October 2012 and concluded today, January 6, 2013. In Chapter 18 of the Bhagavad Gita, Text 68, Lord Krishna explains, Ya idam paramam guyam mad bhakteshu abhidhyasyati bhaktim mai param kritva Mam Ivashyati Asamsaya. For one who explains the supreme secret to the devotees, pure devotional service is guaranteed, and at the end he will come back to me. Srila Prabhupada writes in his purport to this verse that the Bhagavad Gita should be explained to persons who are ready to accept Krishna as the supreme personality of Godhead. It is a subject matter for the devotees only and not for philosophical spectators. In text 69, Lord Krishna adds, Nacha tasman manus yesu kashchin me priya kritama babita nacha me tasmad anya priyataro bhuvi. There is no servant in this world more dear to me than he, nor will there ever be one more dear. And Srila Prabhupada comments, Anyone who tries to sincerely present the Bhagavad Gita as it is will advance in devotional activities and reach the pure devotional state of life. As a result of such pure devotion, he is sure to go home back to Godhead. The team ISV goals of this MSF were to distribute 16,108 Bhagavad Gitas and to collect $65,000 in Lakshmi points. We are pleased to report that these goals have been met, surpassed, and smashed. <laughs> In keeping with the spirit of this MSF's theme, devotees conducted massive book distribution in colorful and distinctive ways, beginning with the Diwali festival and culminating in the Gita Jayanti festival held at ISV. In between, ISV devotees participated in expansive door-to-door -door distribution all over the Bay Area, including Cupertino, Foster City, Pleasanton, Sacramento, and Fremont. Book distribution was carried out across the seas in Germany, the Netherlands, and India. Additionally, Gitas were placed in Washington, Fremont, and Kaiser hospitals, as well as various public libraries. 
A huge portion of this MSF was due to the success of the Motel Gita team, which was able to place thousands of Gitas in motels across the country. Thanks to the generous contributions by Ramananda Saka Prabhu, Shraddha Mataji, Govinda Charan Prabhu, Rasika Shiromani Mataji, and others. Additionally, Motel Gita conducted a traveling Sankirtan team who placed Gitas in motels off Interstate 5. For the first time in the history of ISV, a Gita Jayanti festival was held at the Quinlan Community Center in Cupertino, which featured sloka recitation, an art competition, and a puppet show. This proved to be a big success, and plans for an even bigger festival next year are in the works. We would like to thank our Sankirtan leaders, Malini Mataji and Sri Krishna Purushottam Prabhu, for spearheading this huge marathon and making it a big success. A big thank you also goes out to those dedicated devotees who went out every single weekend starting from October until today. These goals would not have been met without their persistence, enthusiasm, and spirited effort. We are also very grateful for those devotees who took part in Corporate America MSF to collect funds for the Motel Gita project. Their tireless efforts continue to inspire us. Before I read the final results, I would like to take a moment to remember my dad, Rasika Shekhar Prabhu. He dedicated the latter part of his life in service to Lord Krishna, and there was never a temple service of which he wasn't a part. My mom, Nisha, and I are very grateful to each and every member of our congregation for having selflessly and magnanimously dedicated this marathon to him. We would like to thank everyone for all the support given to us during this difficult and trying period in our lives, especially Vaisheshika Prabhu and Nirkula Mataji, who have been in touch with, supported, and looked after us every single day since his passing. Lastly, we would not be standing here today listening to this offering were it not for the inspiration and leadership of our dear president, Vaisheshika Prabhu. <laughs> His guidance, motivation, and belief has made all of this possible. Thank you. Here is the summary of the final results from our book distribution efforts. In all, a, to a total of 17,546 Bhagavad Gitas were distributed. <laughs> and 874 other books for a total of 18,420. And a total of 87,962 dollars in Lakshmi points were collected, including pledges and donations. Hello! Vaisheshika Prabhu also told me that we had surpassed the, the yearly goal, the annual goal of 20% improvement in book distribution with 28%. We hereby offer these results from this MSF of Krishna's most dear servant to Srila Prabhupada and the Lordships and hope that they are pleased. MSF of Krishna's most dear servant Ki. Jai! Shri Shri Radha Madan Mohan Ki. Jai! Shri Man Mahaprabhu Ki. Jai! Shri Shri Lakshmi Narsingha Dev Ki. Jai! Srila Prabhupada Ki. Jai! Gaur Premanande. Rasika Shekhar Prabhu Ki! Yeah!
Neil Jariwala Key. Yay! All the Jariwalas Key. Yay! Go for the Monday! Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishtaya Bhutale Srimate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Itte Namine Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nivishesha Shunyavari Paschatari Shatarine Namaste Namaste Saraswati Deve Prabhupada Gauravani Pracharine Prabhupada Givishesha Shunyavari Prabhupada Pashatari Shatarine Namaste Saraswati Deve Prabhupada Gauravani Pracharine Prabhupada Nivishesha Shunyavari Prabhupada Pashatari Shatanine Jaya Jaya Gaura Chande Aruti Koshoba Janavi Tatavani Jagamana Luba Jaga Janamana Luba Jaga Janamana Luba Gauranga Rarothi Kshoba Jaga Janamana Loba Gauranga Rarothi Kshoba Jaga Janamana Loba Jaga Jana Mana Luba Oh Jaga Jana Mana Luba Hari Bol Hari Bol Hari Bol Tai Gold Hari Bol Tai Gold Hari Bol Hari Hari bo, itai ko dari bo. Dake ne ne tai chan ba me Nikate Advaita Shini Vashatra Dada Vosi Ache Gaurachan Ratna Singhasane
आरती खोरे ना ब्रह्मा आरी देवा गाने नारा हरी आरी खोरी चमरा धुलाया संजाया मुखुंदा बासु गोशारी गाया शंका बाजे गंध बाजे बाजे कारथाला माधुरा मृदंगा बाजे फारमर साला आ माधुर 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 भाजे माधुर 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 भाजे शंकर बाजे कांता बाजे माधुर 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 बाजे शंकर बाजे कांता बाजे माधुर 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 बाजे माधुर 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 बाजे ओ माधुर 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 बाजे हरी बोल हरी बोल हरी बोल ताई गोर हरी बोल नी ताई गोर हरी बोल हरी बोल हरी बोल ताई गोर हरी बोल बाहु कोटि चंद्राजी ने वादना हुजाला गाला देशे वाना माला खोरे झल्ला माला शिवा शुका नारा प्रेमेगदगदा पाका थी विनोधा देखे गोलारा संपारा आ माधुर 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 बाजे हे माधुर 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 बाजे शंकर बाजे कंता बाजे माधुर 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 बाजे शंकर बाजे कांता बाजे माधुर 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 बाजे माधुर 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 बाजे ओ माधुर 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 बाजे हरी बो हरी बो हरी बो ताई गो हरी बो नी ताई गो 
Laribo, 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 go Laribo. Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shivasari Gaura Bhakta Brinda Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadha Shiva Sari Gaura Bhakta Brinda Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Galadha Shiva Sadi Gaurabhakta Brinda Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadha Shiva Sari Gaurabhakta Brinda Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shiva Sadi Gaurabhakta Brinda Krishna Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shiva Sadi Gaurabhakta Brinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Krishna Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 
Rama Rama Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama Hare Rama Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Thai Gaur Hari Bo Hari Bo Hari Bo and Thai Gaur Hari Bo Hari 
जाए जाए प्रभु पाल प्रभु पाल प्रभु पाल जाए जाए प्रभु पाल जाए ओम विष्णु पाल बर महम से प्रेम राज के चार जस्टो तरस्त शीशी मार भाई चार नार विंध भक्ति विरात साई मार आशिल प्रोपा की जाए जाय ओम विष्णु पाद पर हम से परिवार के झा जष्टो तरस्त शीशी मान शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोसाई महाराज की जाय अनंत कोटि वैष्णविन्द की नाम चाइश लहरी रस ठाकुर की प्रेम से कहो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री द्वैत गदाधर शिव श्री गौर भक्त बिन्द की श्री श्री राधा कृष्ण गोगोपीना शामकुंद राधकुंद किरी गोवर्धन की श्री वृंदावन धाम की श्री माई पूर्णावधीप धाम की श्री जगन्नाथ पुरी की न्यू जगन्नाथ पुरी की तुलसी देवी भक्ति देवी की जमुन देवी गंगा देवी की सामवेत भक्त वृंद की दी एम एस एफ ऑफ कृष्ण मोस्ट डियर सर्वेंट की रसिक शेखर प्रभु की और ग्लोरियस सम ऑफ द वोटीज और ग्लोरियस सम ऑफ द वोटीज और ग्लोरियस सम ऑफ द वोटीज कपेमानंदे Hare Krishna is everyone seated Yeah So we need some space in the front Also they will face the deities right they will face the deity Okay We're going to have a performance now during the Nishringa prayers. Now there's plenty of room in here. Hi Krishna. We fit up so to 3000 people here. in this room previously. So everyone please can we have your attention for a minute? If you can hear me raise your hand. If you can hear me raise your hand. If you can hear me raise your hand. Only the kids can hear me. <laughs> okay. Come now. So the backlights can be off. Look around you, everyone. Look around you, and please uh, make sure that um, somebody near you who's not comfortable is space, comfortable. Please. Give them a seat, accommodate them, move in closer. Whatever you have to do. Everyone comfortable? Can you see back there? Did I mention that we've purchased a new so temple? It's a lot bigger. <laughs> We're going to be moving there soon, so please. stay with us stay with us everybody okay now uh, we need little more space in the friend is it possible for <laughs> hi krishna so how is everyone feeling today seems great so how did you start your new year Hi ball so when i thought okay how should i start the new year then i thought okay how should i start a day we start a day with a prayer we start a day with a prayer and similarly so i repeat so i thought okay how should we start this new year and i began thinking how should we start a day and we start a day with what a prayer and What is the best prayer other than Narsi Maruti in the beginning of the year, asking for him to remove all obstacles in our devotional service in the year? And unlike reciting Narsi Maruti, now today we'll see the meaning of Narsi Maruti in the form of dance. Everyone ready for it? Hi, yeah. ball. 
So is Mudangam ready? Sundaram Prabhu, here a place. Can you please give place? Sundaram Prabhu. Hmm. You can't see? Sure. Which one? Sure. So in case you are waiting and you want to donate for a new temple, <laughs> 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 huh? and we promise you it will be much bigger place. Maybe with, uh, you know, all of you can come here. Space. No, I need... Prabhu, sure. we need some space. Jai Jagadish Hare, 
जय जय गदीश हरे जय ओ लक्ष्मी न सिंह दे 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 लक्ष्मी न सिंह जो प्रभु पदा जय प्रभु पदा जय प्रलाप मेरा जय प्रलाप मेरा जय प्रभु जय प्रभु पदा जय प्रहलाद मरा जय प्रहलाद मरा जय प्रहलाद मरा जय प्रहलाद मरा जय ओ प्रभु पदा जय प्रभु पदा जय प्रभु पदा जय प्रभु पदा शिशि लक्ष्मण सिंह भगवान की शुभा महाराज की हरे कृष्ण सो thank you for pooja and hiral mata ji for their uh, participation in within a short notice the practice this in 2 hours of time and thank you to advaita wonderful performance thank you so much hari krishna hari krishna prabhu ke Thank you very much for coming tonight everyone. We welcome you to ISV. This is Iskon of Silicon Valley and we have a mission here to teach the science of Krishna consciousness and to spread it all over Silicon Valley and beyond, giving everyone a chance to connect with Krishna through the Bhagavad Gita, the Shrimad Bhagavatam and through his holy names. And so all the devotees here are dedicated volunteers from all over the area and we invite everyone to come here for our regular programs there is uh there are a lot more programs than you see even in this temple spread all over the bay area that are being uh presented and produced by ISV and I'd like to welcome anyone who's here for the first time tonight so if you're here for the first time Can you let us know so we can welcome you properly? First timers, anyone? Please raise your hand. Yes, first time. Thank you. Let's give him a hand. And it And if you wouldn't mind uh just introducing yourself, tell um where you're from and what brought you here tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for coming. You might want to turn that microphone on on the way over there. Check and see if it's on first. There you go. There you go. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Uh, I'm from Dallas. I'm uh, visiting uh, my your cousin. Your cousin. Okay. And your name? Viplav. Viplav. Welcome to Viplav from Dallas. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Hi, my name is Govind and uh, I just moved to Bay Area like 3 uh, months before and uh, I found that Scone is very near to my place so I just had a visit. Take Where are you from? uh i was in maryland before here by potomac coming to, before coming to bay area yeah and you now you've moved here yeah i moved here permanently yeah hari bo my name is divya so we stay in bascom and i just got married to govin like a month back so i moved here congratulations divya welcome to divya please
Hare Krishna. Uh, no, I'm not here for the first time. <laughs> uh, but my family is here. My, my wife, uh, Janki. Uh, my, my parents, my father, uh, my mother, and uh, this is Siddhi, my daughter. <laughs> I'll hand the phone to Siddhi. Let's see if she wants to say something. <laughs> <laughs> and where are your parents coming from? Oh, um, my parents are coming from Mumbai. I see. And uh, it was, uh, well, for me, it started with uh, when I was about 11 or 12 years of age. Uh, my parents uh, took the, um, the life membership of Juhu Iskon in Juhu. And uh, back then I used to go there, but I'll, ad I'll be the first one to admit I used to go there for the Govinda uh, Prashad. <laughs> <laughs> Little did I know that the Prashadam that I was eating then will have an effect um, several years <laughs> later. <laughs> Who else here's here for the first time? Anyone else? All of you here for the first time, your uh, liaison will be Damodar Prabhu. He's in the, he'll take care of you. He'll bring you to the front of the Prashadam line. Make sure that you have a seat. Anything you need to know or want, uh, he'll take care of. And um, he'll introduce you to all the different programs we have here. So anything at all you, you want or need, please ask Damodar. He'll take care of you uh, completely, okay? Thank you. Is that right? <laughs> so just a small update from my side. I visited India recently, and uh, I had a fortune of marrying a, uh, one of my close relatives. So just wanted to update you on that. And as soon as she will be here, I will let you know about that. <laughs> She's not yet here. <laughs> yeah. Her name is Mega, by the way. Where is she? Mega. She's in India right She's now. She's coming. Yeah, she's coming okay. in Arribo. March. <laughs> And I just received this uh, text that the video tonight was done uh, by Sriman Mahaprabhu. Sriman Mahaprabhu. Okay, Sriman Mahaprabhu. <laughs> Could have been done. Sriman Mahaprabhu from the video uh, who once visited ISV and coordinated this with Bal Makunda Prabhu. So let's hear it for the two of them. Yes, any, uh, any others that have uh, multimedia talent or anything like that? We, we'd like to um, have many of such uh, presentations here for the Sunday program. So anybody with talent or imagination, you can um, step forward. Also see Damodar, he's helping to coordinate our um, new Sunday uh, programs, which we'll be having. Every Sunday program will have eye-popping um, presentations and um, You'll, you'll notice a new atmosphere, so invite all your friends. Tell everyone that the Sunday Feast is uh, going to a new stratosphere. And um, we'd also like to give a, a, a big thanks to Neil, Neil Jariwala, for his yeah. presentation tonight. <laughs> Following in the footsteps of his, of his illustrious father, he wrote uh, th that uh, offering tonight with help, of course, from his mother, uh, who has also been consulting uh, all along and uh, vitally involved with the Sankirtan here at uh, ISV for many, many years, since the very beginning. And um, Nisha is going back to school today, so let's give her a, a big send-off. A little bigger, come on. Um, we're all going to be thinking of you and rooting for you there and waiting for uh, uh, counting the minutes until you come back again. Okay? Hare Krishna. And tonight we had some cooks working uh, all day long. Uh, we've kept them their identity secret until this time. Neelam Hari Sankirtan and Nilesh were cooking tonight. Let's hear it for the... <laughs> And what other announcements do we have tonight? Do we have a, a sponsor tonight for the Sunday program? Who is the sponsor? 
Shri Andal Tayar. Let's hear it for Shri Andal Tayar. You know, when you sponsor the Sunday feast, uh, you're feeding Vaishnavs. There's uh, not much more of a elevated, pious service that you can do than feeding the Vaishnavs. And uh, you can uh, step forward at any time. We take multiple sponsors at any time for the sponsor of the Sunday feast. So anybody who's interested for a special day, uh, please feel free to come up and sponsor the Sunday program. What other announcements do we have tonight? Hanumat Prashak Swami will be here for uh, several days giving lectures. Uh, he's arriving on Friday. He will give the Saturday morning program here starting at 7.30 a.m. You don't want to miss that. Um, he's uh, dedicated his entire life to studying Srila Prabhupada's books and presenting them in imaginative ways. And uh, if you've never been to a, one of his classes, uh, he's very intellectual, but there's never a dull moment. Uh, with Hanumat Prashak Swami. Also on Saturday morning is uh, his Vyasa Puja celebration right here at the at temple. So we'll be honoring a great Vaishnav and at the same time hearing from him so everyone can come for that program Saturday morning. And then uh, Sunday, uh, we have great things coming for this Sunday. The Sunday uh, uh, Feast Planning Committee will be putting together another program for next Sunday and Hanumat Prashak Swami will be here as well. And so a big weekend coming up. What else do we have? Everyone doing okay? Yeah. Right on the wall back here, you'll find an iPad. And you just need to... Um, does it come off the wall? On the no, it doesn't. Okay, so right front on the wall there, you can enter your information. There's a template there. And that will put you directly on our mailing list uh, so that you can get all kinds of... Uh, information about upcoming events. Yes. January 26, we're going to have an ISV fun day. And uh, that means fun and nothing but fun <laughs> all day long. And uh, we're inviting everyone. It's a celebration. You know, the devotees uh, worked hard all through 2012. They gave their heart and soul and time, every spare moment was used to help expand the Sankirtan movement here. We've made huge strides here at ISV in 2012. It's a breakout year. We have a new temple. We smashed records that we never thought would be possible. We've moved up in the top rankings in the world in book distribution right out of this little room. We have a drama department here that have uh, spontaneously from their hearts, they came together and began uh, giving us wonderful plays and puppet shows that uh, capture the minds and hearts of all the devotees. Um, there are graduates, yes. Let's hear for the drama department. Our uh, graduates are adding up in number in the Bhakti Shastri uh, department, and also now we have Bhakti Vaibhav students coming up. Anyway, we'll be here all night if I keep uh, mentioning all the departments. However, we, we're inviting everyone to come together for a fun day on uh, January 26th. The place will be announced, right? And uh, everyone can come and have fun and be with the devotees. We'll have games. We'll have chanting. Uh, we'll have sumptuous prashadam. More fun than a barrel of monkeys. And that's really fun. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, the, plenty of stuff for kids to do, too, or big kids, too. What else? Prabhu, there's a small announcement. Yes. So there are regular Bhagavad Gita classes going on in the whole Bay Area in uh, various cities. So there's a chance of coming to temple, which uh, Wednesday evening we have Bhagavad Gita class, and then Sunday also we have Gita discourse. But then besides that, there are a lot of uh, small units within cities so, say, cities like Cupertino, Milpitas. So, in case, uh, and San Matteo, if you are interested in uh, attending those home programs, uh, please see uh, Vishaka uh, Leela Mataji here, and she will direct you with the, with the right uh, contact local to uh, whatever center is closer to you. Uh, we are looking forward so that you can come and join us both in temple as well as our local centers.
Thank you so much. Okay. We have a uh, and one more congratulation for the book distribution party who uh, smashed all the goals this year. It's just incredible. Yeah. Just imagine there are about 18,000 Bhagavad Gita's circulating out in Silicon Valley that weren't there in September. <laughs> and they're, there, they're out there now. And there's uh, an extra $86,000. This is another point uh, I'd like to make in that all these books that we're distributing are coming through the Bhaktivedanta Book Trust. And the history of the Bhaktivedanta Book Trust is that it was set up by His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada as the engine that would uh, drive the entire ISKCON movement. And the way it works is that whatever dollar goes into the Bhaktivedanta Book Trust from buying Bhagavad Gita's or any kind of other book, 50% goes for printing more books and the other 50% goes for building temples. Now... Uh, the temple that uh, you became a life member at in Juhu Beach was uh, built by dollars that came from the United States and some other places uh, through book distribution. And right now, every time somebody buys a book, a, a Bhaktivedanta uh, Book Trust book, 50% of what they give goes to the uh, new temple in Mayapur. It's going to be one of the largest... Uh, Krishna temples in the world. It will be a wonder of the world. It's it's a gigantic temple. And uh, from America every year, almost $200,000 uh, is going regularly now to help build that temple. So all these Bhagavad Gita's that are going out, every time someone bu buys a Bhagavad Gita, they're not only getting that gift of knowledge, but they're also giving 50% uh, which is the highest kind of spiritual credit you can get for building a temple, Dham Seva, for developing the Dham. So this is why we're focused on this book distribution here because it's complete activity. It completes all the nine activities of devotional service. One can become fully engaged in book distribution. And those who also uh, unexpectedly buy a Bhagavad Gita, even not knowing what it is, get eternal spiritual credit. So it's a great activity. And now we're going to serve prasadam. How are we going to do this? Is it raining outside? So the picnic area is open. And uh, just outside, we have a lovely picnic area design, designed, and uh, we have our temple commander here who has appeared, and he may have some good news for us. Well, the good news is that we always keep uh, um, slots open for anyone who wants to volunteer to clean the temple. Uh, we deliberately do this so that uh, everyone gets an opportunity to do this, to do this service. What this means is that after the prasadam has been served, uh, which is going to be served just right now. And after everyone has uh, honored the prasadam, uh, whoever volunteers, uh, whoever volunteers to clean the temple, they'll get a chance to clean the whole temple, including the cleaning the temple hall, washing the pots, uh, cleaning the tables, and everything. And we are looking for uh, seven volunteers. If anyone is interested, only please. seven. He's only, only seven, allowing yes. seven people to help tonight. <laughs> so if you want to stay a little after prasadam and help out with the cleaning of the temple. He'll take seven volunteers, and only seven. Is that correct? Okay. One, thank you very much. Two, three, four spots open. Four, thank you. Only three more will allow to assist Raman and Saka. Thank you, Charlene. That's five, two more, and we'll have our temple cleaning crew. Sunny, thank you. Six and one more. Anyone like to help out? Okay. You can. Hey, Adibo. Let's have a hand for our cleaning crew. <laughs> this is spontaneous devotional service. That's why we wait to the last minute to ask people because we give you a chance to do spontaneous service. Yeah. Yeah. Whoever has volunteered to clean the temple, uh, please, uh, after the after everyone has honored the prasadam, please uh, either see me or Harsinkirtan Prabhu. 
Thank you very much. Let's hear it for Raman Andasaka and the cleaning crew. Now we're going to... S s what is this? Yes. I'm being passed a stack of cards. Oh, look at this. A million-dollar wall, tile wall for Krishna. So we're building a new temple just in Mountain View. It's a very beautiful location. It's got two gigantic pepper trees outside. Um, and it's also uh, in a pristine, beautiful neighborhood. It's got uh, tons more room than we have here. And we're reconstructing the inside of it. Uh, we're offering everyone the opportunity to be a part of this historic event. And we're having uh, a world-class artist uh, designing a wall just outside the temple that have little tiles on it. And those tiles, each one, uh, you can put an inscription to a loved one or for yourself or, or any kind of a saying. There's, there's a little bit of space on that. And it will be placed on, the, on this million-dollar wall. And the proceeds uh, from all these tile, tiles are going uh, directly to construct this uh, temple that's being built. And so these cards you can pass on to your friends if you know anybody. Uh, who might be interested, or if anybody here tonight would like to, one tile is Just $2, only $2,000 per tile. And so anybody would like to take a tile, you can uh, just raise your hand, or you can let Damodar Vamsidari know. He's in charge of our friend raising here at ISV. <laughs> Anything else? Yeah. Okay. How much have you raised so far? Around $900,000 last year. Last year, uh, $900,000. Haribo. <laughs> Just very quick, uh, 2013, we have a goal of uh, collecting together uh, $500,000. And uh, we look forward for all your help like you did in the last year. Each uh, dollar which you donate for Krishna uh, for the new temple is going to help smooth transition and to get uh, to make all of you more comfortable and make that place a welcome place. So please come forward in case you want to make a tile donation or any even if you don't want to donate a tile, small amount, say $500, $100. Uh, let us know, and uh, we'd like to, you know, take the donation if you wish to. Thank you so much. Five hundred one dollar. Five hundred one dollars from Rajesh Prabhu. Five hundred one dollar. I'll also start my account for the year. One oh eight from me. <laughs> So I know it's crowded, but anybody who gets uh, inspired can see us uh, later, or you can raise the hands, okay? What? We have the new uh, 2013 Krishna calendars are available. You can get them from Sri Krishna Purushottam. He's right here. They're beautiful calendars. Each month has another picture of Krishna, and it tells all the special dates like Ekadashi and um, Janmashtami and so on. Another donation? $108 from Vip Club. $108 from Vip Club. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hansapri is giving away a computer. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sorry, I thought that was a giveaway. Okay. All right, so we're going to move on to Brashadam. I'll just count down one time, and in case you want to stop the countdown, you can uh, raise your hand and uh, leave a donation f for the new temple. Krishna 10, Krishna 9, Krishna 8, Krishna 7, Krishna 6, Krishna 5, Krishna 4, Krishna 3, Krishna 2, Krishna 1.5, Krishna 1. What happened? Well, uh, on behalf of my parents, uh, $108, 108 Krishna 10, Krishna 9, Krishna 8, Krishna 7, Krishna 6, Krishna 5, Krishna 4, Krishna 3, Krishna 2, Krishna 1. What happened? 
108 uh, on behalf of my mother. Okay, we're only doing a couple more countdowns. Krishna 10, Krishna 9, Krishna 8, Krishna 7, Krishna 6, Krishna 5, Krishna 4, Krishna 3, Krishna 2, Krishna... Yeah, 108 on behalf of my grandmother who just passed away in November. So in, mem in memories of her, I would like to uh, take uh, donate 108. Okay, two more countdowns. This one is okay for 108, but the next last countdown is going for... 500 minimum. Krishna 10, Krishna 9, Krishna 8, Krishna 7, Krishna 6, Krishna 5. What happened? Ten dollars from Vrindavan's piggy bank. <laughs> Okay, now the next one, you have to stop it at 500. Otherwise, it counts all the way down. Krishna 10, Krishna 9, Krishna 8, Krishna 7, Krishna 6, Krishna 5, Krishna 4, Krishna 3, Krishna 2, Krishna 1, Krishna 0.5, Krishna 0 0.05, Krishna 0.25, Krishna 0 0.025. Go Premanande! So now uh, we offer our special prayers and gratitude for the prashadam. Uh, these senses are very difficult to control and of all the senses the tongue is the most voracious. But Krishna has very kindly given us his prashad so we can control the tongue. So now let us honor prashadam and glorify their lordships Sri Sri Radhamadan Mohan and call out for the help of Shri Shri Gorni Thai. Go pray manande arivo. Shari Ravijaja. Jodendriya Tahika. Jibe Bile Visha Shagade. Dharma Jai Jivaiti. Loba Mai Sadurmati. Take Jita Katina Shangshade. Krishna Bora Doyamoy. Gori Bade Jihajai. Shra Prashadana Dilobai Shayan Amrita Pao Radha Krishna Gunagao Premi Dako Chaitani Nithai Please come take Prashadam. So right outside is the picnic area. You can get a plate. There will be pl uh, plenty of room and warmth in here. You can come on in and take Prashadam. Thank you very much everyone for coming. Those who are new guests, uh, please go with Damodar. He'll take you to the front of the Prashadam line and take care of any needs that you have. Thank you.